Welcome back. Marlene here with some more L.A. Noir. But it's our second case on Arson, and I'm a little bit nervous that each of these cases are going to rely on me picking the right guy at the end. <laughs> I was so worried about the last one, so relieved. I believe we got the right one. I'm not actually sure what would have happened if we had picked the other guy. What was his name? Varley, I believe. <laughs> and honestly, it was close. I honestly felt like both of them did it, but I don't know. Maybe it's going to be another situation like when we were on Homicide, and it was one guy doing all of them, and these were all just to set us off the right track. I don't know. I guess, once again, we gotta play to find out. Also, I just want to see some more of Cole's story. I hope we get some more insight into what's going on with him and his personal life. I'm nosy, I know. I can't stop thinking about it. I'm a little bit disappointed that the last case didn't show us anything about what's going on with him and Elsa and him and his separated wife now, presumably. I'm curious, okay? I need answers, so let's just play. <laughs> A walk in Elysian Fields. Oh, I remember them from the last one. What's going on here? It looks like some sort of frickin' shrine. Lots of origami cranes. Oh, I love origami. Uh. Okay. Got someone crazy on our hands today by the looks of it. A lot of work on me. <laughs> House fire. Bad one. Hey, boss. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is 650 North Hobart. You got it, sir. So I'm now just realizing, and I feel like I should have realized it long ago, that they always show the same guy in those little preview clips with that Mickey same hat on. Shooting. Okay, let's go. Oh. Like Sorry. Fun, I do. Especially in this game. Get easy, dude. Let's come to you. Are you oh. having a conversation, bitch? Oh. Okay, fuck it. Forget I. I'm no, teasing no, no, you. No, no, no. Continue. <laughs> Tell me about it. Please, continue. The new housing development is a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. The GIs are ready to move in this weekend. The developer's going to have some very angry customers. He's still in custody, Herschel. Huh. Wanna bet? Well, it kicked the moons already. Can't hold Ooh. me to Mr. with cigarettes and matches. Oh, Herbert. Okay, I could only partially hear that. I didn't fully read it because I was trying to pay attention to the road. Yes, I sometimes pay attention to the road. So, uh... Yeah, it's kind of annoying that the radio can kick in when your partner's trying to talk and you never really get to hear your partner talk, so you really want to hear what he has to say. But yeah, I think he was talking about Herbert. They let him go. But it's not who he suspected did this one. We'll see. Maybe he's done all of them. Maybe he'll do all of them in this division. They'll pull another fast one on us like they did with Homicide. I'm on to the game. Trust no one. Until the last case is finished. <laughs> Definitely don't trust Roy. Don't trust your partners in general. Except for, I think Herschel's good. I think he's a good guy. <laughs> I'm rambling and I'm sorry. This is a long drive. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to crash. Getting there in style. Ooh, there's a fire truck. Aw. House fire. 11.57 a.m. Damn shame. Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Uh, I feel like they might be behind all of this. Uh, hey Mal. What we got? Or there's four Vicks. I see this. I hope you have <laughs> strong stomachs. I do. At least I hope I do. Oh my lord. You have a name. Why are they sitting up? Are they tied up? Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Oh. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. That should talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Looks like they're praying. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest yeah. of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. It wouldn't have felt as easy. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make Send any a message. sense. Why would you run into a burning building? 
Maybe if you loved fires. Yeah, this is weird. So they're positioned after rigor mortis set in or something? What are you doing? Very strange positions. The prayer effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Oh, so it makes you like wince. That makes sense. There isn't much I can tell you right now, Cole. All right. Do your job, Phelps. Let me Working on it. I'll find all the evidence. Oh, here's a picture. You ever think about how many people have died in this world? And how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them bigs? Literally everybody no, eventually. I have not. Show some respect. <laughs> it's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? Oh. Got the wrong guy. It doesn't <laughs> explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fires? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. Mm -hmm. He's trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know mm -hmm. you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. <laughs> you could be right. It's not wrong, though. Did you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure, it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Like they did Life that themselves? Is, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. <gasps> Ew. Evidence. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> what was Albert, that? Did that just check out the bother him too much? Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phil. So I'll get oh, back that's... to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating the pigs. He did not like that. That was sad the way you ran out there. Oh, my God. Things just, like, crumpled. Oof, never seen anything like that. Yeah, there's no clue music, so I'm not sure if we found everything. We'll go we'll go comfort pigs in a second. Let me just make sure we don't miss anything in here. Oh, 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 oh. What do we got? What do we got? An iron? Nothing. Not Inconsequential. Is, is there a basement? Something about basements just always gives me a bit creep. Oh. Oh, right from the, uh, putting out the fire. Yeah. We got over here. Oh, what, what, what's, what's digging? I'm clicking everything. Oh, here we go. Is this, this something? This is the flashpoint. Okay. The heater the detonated with happened. enough force to expose the foundations. It was the heater again. Oh my god, here I was all happy that I got the right guy in the last case. But now I'm thinking either would have been the right guy. But ultimately the wrong guy. Now I kind of wish I went with the guy who was wanted for murder anyway. At least I wouldn't have been an innocent man potentially. All right, let's go check on Biggs. Wait, can we get upstairs? Uh, yeah, no, that ain't happening. Let's go see if Biggs is okay. What's wrong, buddy? So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me, you won't be pretty much longer. Oh, stop it. We can get this guy, Herschel. <laughs> you think you've seen everything, Phelps? No. I was with the second Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire, screaming for a way out. Hmm. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. Oh. You getting this? I don't know how I feel about this side of you there, Herschel. But I don't blame you. You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their mm. name was on that list. Oh, you're memory cool. Christ. It is something. We should take a look around. Work the neighbors, see what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay. Okay, I'll try this side. Oh. <laughs> Feeling like we're some real partners I now. Done this for years. Mm, you're enjoying it a little bit. Excuse we gotta me, vent these people. You don't look like a oh. fireman, son. Get these people out of here. This is a secure area. You all need to leave. Yeah. All right. Uh, but I'm noticing now too. I think the first thing our new boss said when he partnered us up together that we're both social basket cases. Well, clearly we both have our own trauma from the war. Also, it dinged. Why is it dinging? Cigarettes and a footprint. 
Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. <laughs> and check the cigarettes too. Oh, probably nothing. Oh, wait, this is something. He's a Someone smoker. Was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Brand yeah, looks distinctive. Like three or four butts. Calderon. Now let's talk to the neighbor. Maybe he saw the guy out front of his house smoking. Did you see anything, sir? LAPD. Mm. Can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Yeah. Terrible luck. Imagine uh, after having uh, won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Hey, Dudley. Got a couple questions for you. The Morelli Fire Witness Report. Did you see anything? Did you see or hear anything yeah. that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. Okay. But did anything happen after that? I presume you probably got out of bed and checked what was going on. Doubt. You didn't like Morelli, yeah. did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Mm -hmm. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. Interesting, uh, though also suspected. Suspicious activity. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. Can't say as I was looking out, though? Can't say as I was looking out, though. So they should have been at a town on their trip, right? I mean, the main person I'm already suspecting now is obviously the suburban home developing plan, whoever's behind all of that. And I'm also still thinking the psychiatrist has something to do with it that I need to find all the other newspapers actually now that I'm thinking about it. I'm curious what I've missed in those. But anyways, what were we talking about again? He hadn't seen anything weird happening. I feel like he's being honest this time. I think he's being honest. Let's check our clues. Granted, none of them are probably going to be used in this. Oh, that is such a messed up drawing there, Cole. What are you doing putting that in your book? The King Raleigh family had one week in vacation. Land cleared to allow construction to return soldiers housing. Wait, what? Houses to be demolished. Land cleared to allow construction of return soldiers housing. That's new information. When did we get that? Okay, okay I should have watched him earlier when I had to doubt. Now I'm not sure if he's making the same facial expressions and movements. I think he's being honest. Truth. Damn have it. Anyone working on the house recently? A maintenance man. That was probably important. Man. I doubt it. He's Why a good liar. Why would they bother with these old places? What with the redevelopment coming up? Fuck. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Play them demolition. Someone is knocking these houses down. Elysian Fields. Mm -hmm. You must oh. know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure he's lying again. Uh, doubt it. Whatever you thought Good. of Morelli, <laughs> this whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn Understandable. fool was ruining it for all of us. <laughs> so he's making enemies out of his neighbors because they all wanted to just get their nice bit of cash for selling at a high markup. Uh, but if I build my house myself with my own freaking hands, I wouldn't be selling that shit. No way. Anyways, yeah, promotional travel contest. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away to Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. Hmm, First thing I familiar? thought of the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. What was it last time? Oh, I forget. Some booking agency. I think he knows. I think I should doubt again. This guy is a frickin' liar. Doubt. I need more, Mr. Fuck. Foreman. Tell me God what damn you it. know about the suburban this redevelopment guy's tough. Fund. I know nothing about it. I've never heard of them. Fuck. Oh, he talked Thanks about knowing about Mr. them. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I can get it for you if you like. That would yes, be please. Great. You, you jerk. God, he was like hey, one of the worst people I've ever interviewed. Uh, I did not enjoy that. What did you pick up? <gasps> great. Piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I could also make penguins. Paper crane. Yeah. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Oh, I could do that. A thousand. That's probably what the guy was working on at the hey, beginning. Don't break it. Don't worry, I could redo it. I'm not. I'm unfolding oh. it. 
building right Looks like a way now. bill or a flyer. Well, let's see. For Elysian Fields development. Elysian, sorry, I keep saying it wrong. So, uh, the last one we were all hung up on the water heater company. But I was curious if Elysian oh, would be involved in the whole suburban development plan. Oh, it's the same one. Okay. When a trip to Catalina Islands, the when other one had that removed. Arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. I advise you not take this trip if you win it. <laughs> Even if I don't like you, guy, I don't want to see you freaking dead or your house burned down. Yeah, thank you. Looks like we're making a call. But yeah, in the last one, I thought that there had to be something more in that property. I wish I looked around. I need an address for a property developer. Elysian yeah. Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, nope. please. Oh, yes. <laughs> you have a message. Contact Captain McKelty immediately. McKelty. Nice. Can you put me through, operator? Of course. Here you are. Thank you, Alfred. Lovely as always. Commander? Leads in the Morelli Farm. Mm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. Elysian. You're about Elysian. To what? Elysian. Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning yes. you, Phelps. Yes. <laughs> Ain't gonna Commander, stop me, we man. Have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? <laughs> Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. We're not going to give up like that, though, are we, Phelps? Kelty right? has warned us off over a lesion. Oof. Makes sense. It's a dead end. Is it, though? We should check out Is Rancho it? Escondido. What? You know the place. Sure. Corner of Fox and Will. Let's go. Okay. Did we find everything? Oh, there was no stops. music, so. It's got to be something big, right? Did you find anything from the other neighbors? Hang on, what's this? What's this? Is that a newspaper I see? Oh, it is! Housing development burns. Exit servicemen irate as GI houses raise. Yes, yes. How did you get to my see number, Ara? At first, I didn't understand you. But now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, doctor. Oh. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. It's crazy. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fires should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it. I just got the intense prediction of this character who's starting all these fires, who's obviously fucking crazy. Number one, he's probably served in the war too, potentially. Maybe that's where he lost his mind. And I'm pretty sure that psychiatrist that deals with ex-military. But I also get the feeling we're not going to catch him alive. I feel like we're also not going to be the ones to kill him. I'm predicting he's going to kill himself in a fire. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Glad we found that newspaper, though. Still have four more. After this part, I might actually look up where any of the ones I may have missed are and see if we can go back and get them. If possible. I don't really know how it all works. But yeah, let's head on over. Well, I kind of want to go to... I'm already forgetting how it's pronounced again. Why is this word so hard for me? Elysian Fields? But our partner does want to go to Rancho Escondido. Let's go to uh, the fields. Yeah, I want to go back there. We are not going. To... Yes, we are. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we just won't let this go, will you, Cole? Mm -mm. You know they're involved somehow. You the heart wants what the heart wants, man. Yeah. You're oh, a it's big boy. Freaking here. I expect you to know which battles are worth throwing my pension away for. This is right here. You and your pension, man. Don't worry, I'll take all the heat. Oh, that was close. Yeah, here we go. Elysian Fields at 12.20 p.m. Why do I feel like I'm still saying it wrong? So it's a tough word, man. Yeah, let's go in. It's a pretty fancy looking building. Look at this marble. Gorgeous. 
Take your time, Cole. Hi. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? Or the police don't need lady. one. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. Thank you. And that's you our cue. Thanks, ma'am. <laughs> so polite. I help. We would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he mm -hmm. in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? I find that offensive. You have every <laughs> right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Good. Come I don't like dealing office. in warrants. <laughs> I just noticed, too, uh, Herschel's tie is a bit messy. It's cute. I like it. You don't give a fuck. Like these little models. Oh, I love them. Hey, take a look. Sure, I love a scotch. Biggs. <laughs> Let the man have a drink if he wants a drink. Freaking hoses for ten grand. Insane. Pretty cute though. Pretty cute. Oops, no, I did not want to look again. As lovely as they are. I want to see the other ones. And check these ones out. Yeah, cute. We're investigating right, a, a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. It's terrible, boy. Our boss is going to be pissed. How can I help? Uh, let's see. Let's talk about... Elysian linked to arsons. Elysian fields and suburban Elysian. redevelopment okay. fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? <laughs> explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. Oh, man. He's barely even opening his eyes. How am I going to get a read on this guy? Play his mouth. What is he doing with his mouth? Can you even see me right now, man? Oh my god, I feel like doubt. Hang on, let's reread the conversation. So that's your explanation. Coincidence, explanation. So what's to explain? He kind of just completely evaded the dang question. Let's check our, our evidence. Yeah. So they're literally the ones doing the giveaway, the trip giveaway on the same flyer for buying homes. So fishy. You could just tell, you just know that these guys are behind it in some way, right? Fun flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? What a nasty freaking thing to say. I don't know. I cannot read this guy's freaking demeanor at all. Can I see your shoes, sir? <laughs> Not that I think he's personally setting the fires. I feel like his mouth is making a weird, a weird, Weird thing on his face. <laughs> a weird, uncomfortable position that you probably wouldn't make if. Uh, fuck it, doubt. We found a family Ooh. burnt out of their home. Another house burned to the ground. <laughs> Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are yep. you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Yeah. Oh, it is. Every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? Things. Very good. Uh, promotion travel contest. That is incredibly fishy, man. What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? Mm -hmm. My company runs many promotions. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. Uh, bullshit. Okay, I actually feel like <laughs> his eyes are actually opening a little bit more now. <laughs> I feel like that means lie. Maybe doubt, definitely not truth, but do we have any good evidence for it? Oh, company runs many promotions. Wait, he was just talking about everything he knew about the promotions his company does. Probably the Elysian, Elysian, E Fields flyers would be the evidence. Promotional flyer. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with lie. I don't feel too good about it though. Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. Yeah. 
You can believe whatever you like, son. Oh, I will. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. Am I, though? Maybe. <laughs> I'm nervous about this one. I'm pretty sure the flyer. Well, here goes nothing. I think it's gonna be a rug, though. Your face oh. is all over the flyers, oh. Mr. Monroe. Sorry, you these are getting tough, and I'm getting a little too excited. You're aware that they get given the holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the suburban redevelopment fund? Not surprising. Do you want to accuse them of murder as well? No, just you, man. Well, I'm not actually accusing this guy of murder. I'm accusing his company of, you know, arranging some murder. <laughs> Local land acquisitions. We've made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. Hmm. I think he's making the doubt face again. Look at that mouth. Doing that weird, uncomfortable position on that face. <laughs> he's wincing. I'm down. Come on, Mr. Oh, you expect me to okay, believe I thought this that guy you was going to be way tougher. With one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it. Progress yeah. is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. Ugh. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. Yes, yeah, we usually have to. You have yeah. any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contractors I use for waybills. Do you suppose it could be any of them? I have a list of their names, if it would be of any help. <laughs> that would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. What a dirty move. Let Threaten a man's help, pension. Officers. Yes, please. Uh, thank you. What's the story? She got that any quickly. Any these names ring a bell? Uh, fuck, I don't know. Herbert Chapman. What are the Herbert odds? Herbert Chapman is on this list. Hmm. Find the phone. Mm -hmm. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. Yep. Uh, find a phone? You got it. I'm pretty good at it. Oh, it's one I of the buildings. The boss is a fine house. man. <laughs> so fine. God damn. Whoa. Dude, having the season from hell. I guess we'll just use this phone. If you don't mind, miss. She has a secret message for KGPL. Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. They won't be, but hopefully, hopefully. He was released this morning, Detective. Sorry. Damn. Damn I'm indeed. sorry, Detective. Not, Not your fault. fault. <laughs> Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thank you. Thanks for your help. Yeah. All right, where to next? I assume we gotta do, oh, accomplishment huckster. I didn't see what that achievement was for, but nice. All right, now we'll go to the Rancho Escondido. Just for you, Herschel. I I don't ever do anything nice for you. Uh, I guess we're not chatting on this little drive then. Fine. Ooh, oh, oh, sorry. I did not think that we were gonna hit that guy. Thought we had enough space. <laughs> oh, can we just go straight through here? I got hit. Oh, more fires. <laughs> Thankfully, it switched to a load screen so we didn't ruin any evidence there. That was a lot of fires. Oh, Rancho Escondido, 1240 you know, p.m. There are times when you really miss a nightstick. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. Shit, this whole area is burned down. What happened here? Did I miss something? I think I missed something. I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. This is not This is safe, America, sir. dickhead. Now step back 
or I'll lock you up for a Smart break. Son of a bitch. Ooh. Okay, oh. already. I'm just hang on, hang on. Not a bad I'm blue. I don't want to fight these guys. I can understand them being mad. I just lost everything. Grapple that bitch. Sorry. Where's her? Sh oh, there he is. Oh, oh, no, I got another one. I'll help you in a second. Biggs. Oh, this guy is older. Uh, is this the area for the returning servicemen that got burned out? Is that what it was? That makes me feel even worse. Uh, uh, sorry. I don't want to do it. But if I must. Alright, Biggs, I got ya. Oh. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> sorry, boys. Good thing you showed some time up in a cell, we'll help you calm down. Those folks were baying for blood. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was pretty intense. Let's see if there's anything left to take a look at. Yeah, let's do it. Cue the music. I heard something, but where? Oh, here we go. Oh. Yes, it's a brick. Investigate further. Mortar and like dust. Body. Is that normal in a fire? I'd expect some shrinkage in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. Oh, was this a new housing development that went up in flames ooh, really easily? That's why it spread so fast? Because these, these are new homes. You got an idea, Hotshot? I think Cole's at a loss for the first time ever. Well, Cole, I've got experience in this department. <laughs> but it usually comes together. Oh, oh. I mean, cool. Bad. But I'm just I'm really curious about this side story. <laughs> Is that Roy? Buy me a drink, Cole? No. Buy it yourself. Not even for old time's sake. Not even for that. You're not going to ask me why I'm here? I wouldn't give you the pleasure. We'll get around it. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about... threats for someone who cares about them, Roy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel Tell about, about it. you. As you feel the pain. Stay away from Elysian Fields. I should have known that you were playing Aaron Boy. <laughs> you and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that job. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. I fucking hate that guy. Did you hear the thing you said about Herschel? Oh, Elsa's apartment, 8 45 a.m. Are we leaving or going? Get the message about Monroe? Yeah. Earl delivered it. You? The Kelty. He started making noises about my pension. Asshole. Sorry about that, Herschel. I didn't mean to drag him into this. Save it, Phelps. Monroe was an ass way. And so was Earl. <laughs> and so was McKelty when it's all said and done. Oh, I like you, Herschel. That's the he doesn't give Cole a hard time about his past. Oh, oh, did they get Herbert? 11K, go ahead. 11K, last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger that, KGPL. Hey, God. 11K en route. Yeah, let's we go gotta change our location. Up. Yeah, let's get this fucker. You fought at Sugarloaf, I wonder didn't if it is him. I did. Oh, yeah, let's like talk, about talk about it. About it. Damn it. You <laughs> a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You know Jack Kelso? Yes. He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our paths cross from time to time. Huh. For some reason, CNN makes me think of him. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf or the 
rest of the campaign. Jack keeps stung just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. Mm -hmm. Wasn't Kelso and Cole really good friends at the beginning and then they started to really piss each other off throughout those flashbacks, if I recall correctly? I think so. I think he was one of the first flashbacks. I just remember them fighting when Cole scored him poorly in something, if I recall correctly. In a rush, we got an arson to apprehend. So thank you for understanding. Oh. I'm on a roll right now. Ooh. Oh, oh, they never last. They never last. It's okay, our car's fine. Sorry about the truck, though. <laughs> yeah. Can you believe Roy, though? At for a split second there, it kind of felt like he did it out of concern for Cole. Just for a split second, that he's worried about what Elysian would do to him if he kept poking at this. But is Homicide really taking it over? Are we gonna get in trouble if we keep working on this case? Maybe. I don't care. <laughs> I do what I want. I'm Cole fucking Phelps. Hang on. Alright, we're good. Oh. Hopefully it gets us where we need to go. <laughs> I have a feeling our car is about to stop working soon for some reason. You know it's bad once you lose the hood. I speak with experience. Yeah, you can hear that engine. <laughs> well, we're almost there though. We made it. There we are. Chapman's apartment, 9.20 a.m. A.m.? Oh, I thought it was in the p.m. Oh, so Cole, that's, okay, he was picking Cole up we're at Elsa's, that's where Chapman. he's staying. I'm looking for him too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. <laughs> he's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's out somewhere. Just some Let's check anyway. The car. Okay, interesting vehicle. Moscow. And lots of flyers. Perfect for making some uh, origami cranes, perhaps. Yeah, check out that Moscow. Oh, and there's ammo in here too. Uh oh. Let's get further. We guess it's empty. Oh no, there's one in there. Motive, opportunity, and hard evidence. Yeah, he's got it all. And he's armed. But it's presumably a loaded gun. We should revise the APP. He's clearly armed. Mm -hmm. oh, what's this here? Oh, it's just a folded up flyer. Yeah. Yep. I like how they put the detail in. So that, they put the detail in that he clearly folded the paper to rip off the bottom part so he could make a perfect square to make a perfect crane. Frickin' Leland Monroe. The more they tell us to ignore oh, that no. angle, there the more it makes it suspicious. Out of the oh, 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 oh! Shit! No, he sees us. He sees us! us. Yep. Cops! Again! Are you stupid? Oh, is he gonna get on that trolley? What's he doing? Son of What's a he bitch. doing? He must have caught the trolley. <laughs> you gotta move fast, Cole. With the gun too. He's gonna. Oh, he's probably driving it. Dispatched. Oh my God! Are you crazy? Oh. What are you doing in this situation? At least there's no people on it. Oh my God! The carnage. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. He's probably gonna kill some people. Oh, sorry. People move! Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. I shouldn't be laughing, but oh my god. I don't think we have anything to worry about. Pretty easy to follow this. <laughs> Just follow the wreckage. Ooh. Oh, I almost wanted to take it. How do you stop this? Subway terminal. Oh. You fool. See if you damage one of the wheels. Might act like a okay. brake and slow the thing down. <laughs> what? <laughs> like get in front of it and brake? Okay. I'll try. Hold him tight, Cole. As soon as he ditches the tramp, we'll be there to grab him. Yeah, I don't think that'll work. Give me close. I think I got a shot here. Okay, okay. Got it, pigs. If for some reason he's speeding up and I'm slowing down. I got my foot on the gas, so I'm not taking it off. Oh, there is people in there. Oh! Oh god. And 
into the line, you little prick. Yeah, Come get on, the Cole. fuck out of there. <laughs> oh! Don't make me kill him! I want to question him! No! God damn it! Man, Cole. Well done. I'm not so I don't sure. think it's him. Yeah. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. Seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are yeah. you talking about? He probably got hired by somebody. Hired by in some way. I see Chapman and Monroe working together. Yeah, that was the thing that confused me too. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big forty-five. <laughs> Damn shame you had to kill him. But you know he's not our guy. You know the fires are going to continue. Nice now work, he's dead. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. Yeah, whatever. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I think they set him Couldn't up. Couldn't be happier than to wipe them off the scoreboard. Nick McKelty was in on it. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? I may have got his name wrong. Be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> At least he'll take the heat off you, Cole, if that happens. Everyone will be talking about that. <laughs> oh, where are we? Elsa? <laughs> what is it? A letter from Lou. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California Fire and Life. You worked for Elysian? The oh. roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want <laughs> you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help this Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He's <laughs> a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Yep. Elsa, you could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why Who's don't Luke? be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. It's weird seeing Cole not wearing his hat by choice. Very intimate. <laughs> so, oh, we're already done? And I missed a clue, shit. Thought I had them all. That's it? We're done. Three stars, as to be expected. Leland Monroe will never face a charge, but a fistful of evidence might have got his attention. Did I fuck up? I feel like I fucked up. <laughs> well, I guess that was a walk in the Elysian fields. I'm curious if we didn't go there first, if anything different would have happened. I might have to replay this one. I'm curious. And also, what clue did I miss? What the fuck? This full of evidence might have got his attention. I might give this one a replay. It was short, let's do it. All right, so we'll replay this one, but we will skip going to the Elysian office and see if anything different happens. Yeah, a walk in Elysian fields, we know. Ain't no walk in the park. I don't know if I wanna watch this again. It gives me the ick, it gives me the creeps. <laughs> Also, incredibly dangerous having them around candles like that, man. I wonder how many he's folded so far. Clearly not Herbert. It might be Herbert. I don't think it's Herbert, though. I don't know, maybe even Elysian's not involved at all. Maybe it's just some Bad crazy one. fucker. Four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. Oh yeah, we get to see that again. The dress <laughs> is... Honestly, we've North seen Hobart. some pretty disturbing scenes in this game, but those burnt up bodies folded up in a prayer. Ugh. One of the worst. I mean, this is housing development. It's a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. The guys are ready to move in this weekend. Oh, going to have oh, some very angry customers. That's where they mentioned it at the beginning. Oh, there's something here. Oh, I missed this. This is a clue. Insta heat. Any Looks familiar like names? Model. Reginald Varley. Maybe I did get the wrong guy in the last one. Granted, I don't think either of them were the right guy. 
as per what Cole said. That was pretty valuable. Ooh, or maybe the case note hints that you should have gone there last because we would have gotten some valuable information that would have led us to him instead. Huh. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the I think I got this one wrong last nope. time. Can't say as I was looking out, though. So we're going to doubt this time. I think I believed them sure last time. Forming. Oof, yeah. There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, <laughs> beat up hat, and no hair. Okay, that's pretty useful, actually, potentially. I thought actually, he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. All right. That actually... Smoking man, new person of interest. Will that lead anywhere? Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. Okay. Let's use our intuition on the ones we got wrong last time that I'm still not sure about. Let's ask the community. Uh, truth, okay. Did we get that right last time? I'd already agreed to sell. Oh. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. Oh. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Oh, that's useful. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition kind of flyers in the kitchen. Expected. I can get it for you if you like. Yeah, we already looked at that it. Thank you. But I'll see it again. <laughs> Any luck, Cole? Okay, so we actually got some pretty Double useful fact. information out of the questions I fucked up last pain. time. So yeah, it's definitely interesting that they only let people qualify for the free getaway trip if they haven't agreed to sell their house yet. So fucking fishy. But it also feels a little too obvious, down, doesn't it? I feel like developer. if Elysian somebody, some big corporation wanted my property so badly that they're gonna send me away on a free paid trip somewhere for a weekend, <laughs> no way in hell am I going. Ugh, that is a gamble not Messages, worth taking. Please. But I feel like if you stay at home too, you you're message. fucked either way. Contact you're fucked even worse if you stay home because apparently they don't care. They're just Thanks. gonna burn down your you house. Whoever's doing it. I wonder if we could Kelty take Brother's vehicle. Over <gasps> oh, we could take his hearse! Wait. We should check out Rancho Escondido. Yes. Okay. You know the place? Sure. One of our fountain and wilt. Let's go. Alright, we'll do it your way. Herschel, let's go. I wonder if it'll change anything. Are we still gonna go to Elysian? I don't know. Elysian. Elysian. Pretty sure it's Elysian. Okay, the, driving this vehicle feels wrong. I'm sorry, Mal. I did not mean to take it, but at least there's no body in the back. That would have made it even weirder. I feel like I'm playing freaking Twisted Metal Black here. Alright, this is it. Left and left and left and left again, and I'm right up your ass. <laughs> I'll never understand why he says that. Over here. All right, let's get this brawl out of the way. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? <laughs> you rather we take a fire truck? I wouldn't mind driving that again. Those are pretty fun. The steering was awkward as fuck, but fun. Jesus, Cole. What's wrong with a good old-fashioned black and white? <laughs> it ain't flashy enough, my man. I like to travel in style when I can. Oh, fuck. For the this thing takes a while to break. <laughs> God damn. At least this is a replay mission. This doesn't count towards our ending. Oh my god, I forgot how hard these are to turn. Sorry, excuse me. Best if you just move out of my way. Thank you. <laughs> Less people will get hurt that way. Should I use my siren? Maybe. Am I going to? No. <laughs> uh, you're having fun, Herschel, right? Wait, so we're going to Ely Elysian anyway. Oh, for God's sakes. If you want instructions on how to wipe your ass, you let me know. <laughs> what was that, Cole? Was that necessary? Looks like I missed a bit around his office here. He's got even more models everywhere. Let's have a seat. We're I think we aced this one domestic fires, originally. What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was, before the unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulation. Absolutely. Oh, this is different, Only actually. the best for our returning heroes. Yeah, we didn't get to ask this last time because we didn't go there first. Shit, I wasn't paying attention. Apparently, even on a replay, I need to focus more because there are subtle differences. <laughs> so what was just said? What's Lizzie and Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? One of the latest housing developments. Uh, since this is a replay, let's use that intuition. Yeah, why not? Ask the community. Lie, ooh. Oh, I Lie, guess the proof is bro. the brick. 
There's something out of kilter about that development. Obviously. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. Actually, sir, poor cement quality is a pretty good, a fine piece of proof if I do say so myself. No expert. That one was very we'll obvious. That the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Yeah, what say you? Every building is built to a budget, boys. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Life. California Fire and Life. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think that they'd vouch for the buildings without examining them? That's where the settlement came for Lou. You know what? I'm kind of Find excited to do that chase again. That we was need pretty to know fun. We're right with Chapman. Yep. Let's go get him. <laughs> I forgot we brought the, the fire truck. I wonder if we can use that to stop his frickin' runaway tram. Let's find out. Oh, what, you don't like my parking job? You're gonna look fucking fine, my man. Get in here. Oh, hang on, we can use the phone. Oh, right, we gotta find Herbert's address. I almost forgot. Get out. We gotta make a call. All right. Oh, no, we're gonna lose our fire truck. Forgot it. Brings us back to the frickin' blue room. Well, Jazz Club. The I, I want to watch this again, but I'm going to skip it because I just don't want to see Roy again. Fuck that guy. He was a douche. As usual. The less we see of him, the better. I get the feeling it's the last we're going to see of him. Alright, yeah, we'll skip all this. Damn it, I want my fire truck. Oh, that is shrill. 11K, go ahead. Shrill noise. You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our oh, past so he works for California. Or, yeah, Fire and Life. It all makes sense. Jack's it's kind of nice to be playing these because, because I get all that knowledge I usually get while editing and get frustrated that I missed it. <laughs> Jack keeps I always get it better the second time around. Like Sometimes it needs to be the third. You Keep your eyes peeled for a fire truck. So I want to do this part in a fire truck. So sad. I mean, on the plus side of all of this, at least Herbert's off the streets starting fires because it's pretty clear he probably has been. The car. Though I'm still see what he's hauling around. pretty sure he was getting hired to start these fires and was a Motive willing participant. And hard evidence. While somebody else watched. Oh, I wish. I don't have time to get it though. I don't. I don't. They're too slow. Oh, we're gonna lose them. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. Just kidding. I don't think it's possible to lose this thing. It's so fucking slow. Is it raining? Ooh. Hold good tight, mood weather. Susie, you... Oh, why do you do it, man? We didn't have to kill you. Granted. Looks like we have our man, Cole. Probably would have spent well, the rest not, of your life in jail so had sure. you not fired back Chapman at us. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. Yeah. What are you talking about? So Fire I guess it didn't change anything going to Elysian. and you had to. You had to make the right decision. I'm point. good with that. The evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Yeah. 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 Okay, so it didn't matter which direction you took. Nothing really changed, which I was kind of hoping it did, but at the same time, I mean, this game does have to follow a story. It can't go off in like 50 different branches, and I get it. But it is interesting that going in a different uh, different order changed some line of questioning and gave us a much better question we could have asked Leland. Regrettably, I wish I got that on my first go around on the proper playthrough. Okay, yeah, we'd skip this again. Also interesting that Lou worked for Elysian, and uh, it was fire and life that was paying out probably three stars again, I assume. Yeah, <laughs> but we got all the clues and that's what matters. Chapman takes his motive and any possible lies to Monroe and Elysian fails to the grave. Okay, so we got a more interesting case note this time, which makes it all worth it, honestly. All right, well, that was definitely one of the shortest cases we've done, but definitely one of the more intriguing ones. I definitely am leaving it with a lot more questions and answers. I'm a bit nervous that this case is gonna be taken out from under us by homicide, like Roy said, I don't know, but I did notice that Herschel was getting pretty into it. He seemed to be growing a bit of passion for finding out who's doing all this. Pensioner, no pension. <laughs> but I am very glad that we replayed this one because we got some interesting tidbits of information, especially from the neighbor 
The fact that only people who refused to sell their houses were eligible for the free weekend getaway from Elysian. Fishy as fuck, apologies if I'm still saying it wrong, for whatever reason my brain just can't compute that word. <laughs> and we also um, got that additional question that we could ask Leland about the shitty brick and mortar he was using to build those buildings that all went up in flame like it was some sort of tinder meant to be on fire. Regardless, um, I'm definitely eager to play the next case. I'm very curious where the story is going and where it's going to end and how the game's going to end. As a side note, it was kind of cute seeing Cole look so happy and letting his guard down with Elsa. With everything else aside, it's nice seeing the guy happy. Still feel for his wife though and his children. Whew. Awkward, awkward situation to talk about. But also, uh, I assume she'll probably do what he asked and talk to Kelso for him and potentially dig a bit deeper from her end especially if we actually get off thrown off the case maybe she'll be our our connection to uh get some more clues and maybe get this guy even if we're not meant to be on the case as always let me know what you thought in the comments below and thank you so much for joining me for this one i do hope you enjoyed the video and if you did then give it a like if you want to join me for our next case on arson whatever it may be subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one bye